Hey guys, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing good today. Um, tomorrow's about to be Happy Independence Day, so happy 4th to, to everybody. If this is your first time coming to my channel, thank you for coming in. Please like and subscribe and hit the notification button so you know when I'm going to upload a video. If you guys are my sub, 420 sub family, thank you. Much love for coming by. And guys, I will be coming by to see your videos. I have not had any time. I've just been working like crazy so by the time i get home i'll probably try to give a couple of shout outs and you know i'll be able to up and conked out from sleep so please forgive me for whoever i have not been able to hit up yet so i will be hitting everybody up and seeing them because i gave a shout out to all these people and i just feel so bad i know i went to faded life tv i think that's his name um he was funny as hell me but um today my video is dealing with loving yourself and dealing with anxiety man y'all know i've been going through some crazy ass issues you know it's just been so crazy because i'm just so ready to go home i've been talking to oracle jen um that's like my soul sister i swear me and her were like twins or something because we we're just too far connected and it's like so many different things that's been going on it's like my facial features eyes are starting to change to me it's weird because when i see my first videos that i came out with compared to what i look like now it is just <laughs> it's crazy because it's like my dad's been popping up all over the place it's like people say certain phrases with me at work and i'm like did y'all say that on y'all trying to be funny like one girl just kept on saying take me with you you know and i'm just like and one girl has the same name it's something in my dad's song, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is just, it's too much, it's too much. So, you know, I told you guys I got something coming up, and, you know, it has just been giving me, like, mad anxiety because I'm so ready to get it done and get it through. So, you know, so I can be able to connect with my family because I think this is going to be the thing that's going to connect me back. And it's like so many things. It's like some people come up to me and they, they ask me, you know, I know it has to be crazy for you it has to be awkward for you and i'm like yeah it does and it's like sometimes i don't like taking pictures because it, it, it it's like a painful memory and i don't want it to be that way and i keep telling him my dad say love yourself love yourself more to walk away walk away from anything that doesn't serve you anymore that you don't you know that is not supposed to be in your life no more and it's like I've evolved so much, but it's just like so much stress when you're trying to stay positive. You know, you're trying to keep telling people, you know, things are going to get better for you. Things are going to get better for you. And you're just like, but when though? <laughs> you know, but when though? You know, and it, it's just like, you know, I'm listening to my dad's song, Paisley Park, you know. And it's like, I got to listen to upbeat music, music, but it's like, I can't listen to my dad too much because it's like, I feel depressed and sad, like, Dad, why? Why did this happen? You know, he's just like, baby, I don't know. You know, some things happen that we just don't understand. And it's like, dealing with my ascension, you know, I have these chills and headaches really bad. And, you know, I'm scared to sit up here and do a chakra meditation because last time I did that, I was like acting like damn bad old ghost whisperer. You know, people I didn't even know, and I'm sitting there asking, hey, does this person look like this? You know anybody who look like this and this and this that? Because I don't know these folks. And they're like, oh, my God. Yes, this is my family. You know, this is my Uncle Bob. This is my, you know, my dad. This is, you know, and I'm like, wait a minute. These are more things that I didn't even know I was able to do. Now I'm doing a Jennifer Love Hewitt thing, and I'm just like, wow, you know. And I guess my dad wasn't really playing when he said I was the third eye girl. So, it's just different things that I'm having to deal with, you know, being a twin flame and finally getting, you know, the whole reconnection back with my dad because it's like weird thoughts I'll be having about certain people. Like, I get annoyed by watching certain people that my dad used to hang with. And I'm like, I don't know these people. I'm not trying to judge them. But why am I getting annoyed with certain people that I actually love their music? I love to see them perform. But it's like I have a vision about something or a certain thing, and I'm just like, Ooh, okay, I'm my bad, I'm mm, okay. But if you're annoyed, you're annoyed because I'm just like, this is not my feeling. But 
having to deal with this and it's just like having the third eye situation and then you have your ego coming up with it at the same time oh my god it's not a good thing like right now i can go to work and i have to put my hand in a hand scanner ever since this reconnection with my dad i have not been able to scan my hand and keep on saying it doesn't identify me and i know good and well i've clocked in i don't know how many times so they're like, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, uh, I got a cut on my hand. You know, <laughs> and I'm not trying to explain that to them. You know, and it's just like, uh, it's just like all these weird, crazy dreams that I have that, you know, they, they're saying that I'm him and he's me or whatever. And I'm like, okay, you know, I don't know what's going on. But, you know, dealing with different depressions and stuff, like you're dealing with home life, you're dealing with work life, you might have a rela bad relationships, friendships, whatever. And I just got all that stuff going on. And it's just like trying to stay positive and, you know, just get eager and, you know, missing my dad physically. Because I know I can't really miss him because he's always around. Because I always know when he's around. He always gives me this sign that he's here. But it's like physically, you know. And it's just like people ask me, is it hard? Do you got to, you know, deal with that? I said it is hard because especially with him being a public you know, celebrity or whatever you want to call it, 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 it seems like it's a lot harder to have to deal with. So it, it's like I have to keep prayed up. I have to meditate, you know, um, think positive, stay away from people sometimes because this is just like when I go to work, you got to deal with so many different vibes and stuff like that. And it's just like, I'm like, oh, Lord, <laughs> what do you have to do? What can you do? So I always just put music on and just listen. So listen to my spirit, guys, because they keep telling me things are going to get better. Just keep keep the faith. That You know, when you're going through stuff and stuff seems like it's falling apart, trust me, that's when everything's starting to come back together. You just don't see it. Everything's happening from you, from the, you know, from behind your back, whatever. But it's just like my dad's area code keeps popping up. You know, my birthday, 519, keeps coming up. My 7-7. My, the year of my birth, you know, I, I can look at my phone and be 519 or somebody will send me a text at 519, went to the store the other day, and my change came up to exactly 519, and I'm just like, what is it, you know, and listening to one of my other dad, my dad's songs, um, uh, way back home, I love this song, it's kind of, it's about me and him, and, you know, his life and stuff like that, and it's like, towards the end, he's like, you know, um, power to the people that can raise a child like me um if you look towards the truth they'll set you free and i just really love that song it puts me in an upbeat mood you know i have to be on the vibes i gotta you know this is about to be the 4th of july i'm gonna party like it's 1999 and 2017 okay i said i'm not gonna sit up here let's sit up here and be depressed because i know i'm ready to go home i'm ready to be reconnected with my family it's just like people come up with all these thousands of questions like why are you just coming out now I've been trying to come out um it's just I never knew what approach to go ahead and do it and then before I was always worrying about what people would say what people would think because this is something that I've had to suppress my whole life you know I've, I've been wanting to meet my dad before I even knew he, who he was what he was I just knew I, I needed something that looked like that I need that you know so it's just all these different emotions and just sort of different things that comes up and uh, it's just crazy because it's like I look at my other videos and it's like my face. It's just like everything's starting to change. It's like I can listen to some of my dad's music and I start no noticing I'm putting the same expression on my face that I seen that he had on in the video and I'm like, what is going on? So it's just really crazy to me. So it's just like this oneness thing is just I don't know if it's him that's, you know, getting aggravated with certain things. Because, I, like I said, I don't know if I, you know, said it already. Because my ADD has been acting up. I've been jumping from subjects like crazy. And um, it's just so much, you know, um, dealing with his emotions and dealing with his past memories that he wants me to see. Or some of them I tap into and I'm not really trying to tap into. 
And it's like, like I said, I can watch somebody on TV and I'm just like, why am I so annoyed with these people? I don't even know them. I'm trying not to judge nobody. But yet it felt that way. And I'm just like, hmm, it's something that must have aggravated him with them at a certain time or whatever. And it just came down motion, just came back up. Because, I mean, that Kundalini man is no joke. Because it's like I keep on getting this chill up and down my back. And I have to do a violet flame prayer because it is just, oh man, mm -mm. it's like all these things keep coming up and I'm thinking I'm over stuff and it's just more stuff will come up about it. And it's just a feeling that my, maybe my dad had at that moment. It's like certain songs I can't even listen to and I hear my dad doing that high pitched scream because it would send me into a... A com I'll start having a complex and it'll hit me right back to where I was in the hospital room, hearing him scream while they're, you know, he, I'm going one way, he's going the next, you know, going down the hallway, and it was just so messed up, so, um, no, now, this is my jam right here, this is the one to get me set off, funk and roll, this is a song that I think that he made about me too, because he said, finally, beloved, we meet at last, um, and that song is just, it's just really good or whatever. But it just puts me in a good spot. So, I mean, it's just like, if you're going through something, please meditate. Pray. What, whatever you're into, like, if you, you know, if you pray or you do whatever belief you have, just try to put yourself in a, in a good vibe. Because if you keep yourself in a negative, that's all you're going to invite in. And I try not to do that. So, you guys, you stay blessed and you stay safe. And you have a blessed 4th of July, and I hope everybody has a blessed week. And please, you know, guys, be careful. If you're drinking or whatever, smoking, please do it at home or do it where you ain't got to go nowhere for a while. <laughs> so stay safe, and I will pray for you guys, and please keep me in your prayers. And I will talk to you later. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification button if you haven't, and I will talk to you later. Peace, love, soul.